Hey guys, Ogi Sanchi and welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you may be in the world. And in this video, I want to share with you guys a little bit of Corpa and how to boost your roster now and in the future. And the reason I say this is Corpa is you could potentially make a bit of gold off of this as well. But the good thing about this that I'm going to share with you guys is you're not going to, you won't be able to lose gold at all. This is foolproof. You won't be able to lose gold because you're investing in one gold item. And no matter what price, if it goes up to, if you sell it back at one gold, it's still an uh, even split. You're not losing anything. So just keep that in mind for the rest of the video. But before we get into that, if you guys could go ahead and sub to the channel, it would mean so much to me. We're so close to 3k subscribers trying to hit it before the end of the year. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And with that out the way, let's hop straight into it now, shall we? So what I mean by this is our new, we all know this new little essential honing material exchange before when we used to open her up. All she had was the greater honor leapstones. You would convert five honor leapstones to five greater honors or one greater honor, my bad. But uh, now she has all these new stuff, which obviously unlock at 1490. This is the new Brawl Shazza honing materials. As you can see there, you need five graders for one of the marvelous. You need five destructions for one of the new ones, obliteration stones and five of the guardians for one of the new stones over there as you can see there i have 10 20 bounds what's that like 204 yeah because it's just divided by five so we get that there and i couldn't do anything else with those because those are bound and i'm not using them on my weapon since i'll be upgrading to the brow weapon anyway but the whole point that i want to share with you guys never mind that vendor that vendor over there just remember she's there don't forget about her but if we come over to my interested list over here have a look at crystallized destruction stones and guardian stones they are one gold each right now and they have been like that for the past couple of days i won't say a week i think maybe i haven't actually been looking at them since the beginning of the week but i know the last three or four days that i have been looking at them they've been at one gold consistently the whole time and if you go look at that there's no other ones higher so it's literally just one gold all the time and then if we have a look at the other the new blue ones they're at six gold and these red ones are at nine gold and that yeah the nine seems to be about the average for this this go like up and down between seven and nine the whole time i see but they mostly hover around nine and the blue ones i was seeing hover around six seven most of the time see there's a lot there at seven because someone just listed that bunch over there a little bit under now what i want for you guys to do or what my plan is is to invest into these you need so many of these on your roster, even if you're not at Braille yet, especially if you're not at Braille yet, if you're under 1490, you need so much of this. I have, for example, I'll show you guys, I have this max roll little thing here, this is the upgrade honing calculator. This is to get a character from 1370 all the way up to 1490, so plus 20 everything. The estimated, this is the average amounts of uh, destruction and guardians. You need 167,000 of the guardian stones and 64,000 destructions. This is on average without any pities, I believe. It's like average honing. I think around 30 artisans or so is the average. And yeah, it's just a lot of materials you're gonna need. They look, there's 5.3, almost 5.4K grade on the leap zones. But the main thing I'm looking at now for you guys is this, the destructions and the guardians. You need so many, oh, this is for one character. So imagine if you're a new player, you're trying to get to 1490, that's the amount of materials you need for one character, and then you want to start pushing another character later, and another character, because you're definitely going to want to play more than the one character. So you're going to need boatloads of these, and the good thing about these as well, is the price, since they're one gold right now, you need so many to get to 1490, and then once you get to 1490, if we come back in game right now, you can just come here and you can convert them and it's still cheaper to convert them at a five to one ratio than what it is to buy the new ones because let's see for example let me show you guys the interest list so this is eight it's gone down to eight now well we'll just say the average is nine so we'll say it's eight gold right so eight gold for 10 units how many of these do we need for 10 units of those we're gonna need 50 of these for 10 for to buy one unit over there so if we go buy five of those, because obviously it converts at a one to five ratio. So this five, if we buy these five bundles there, we'll be able to buy one bundle of obliteration stones. And this is five gold, right? Five gold. And look at the price of that. Eight gold. That's almost double. It's two gold off being double. So no matter what you do with these guardian stones, if you're investing into your account before you get to barrel, even after barrel, you're still winning like you'll never be able to lose it's a one gold investment 
Now, I don't know what the gold price is of these on other servers, like NA East and West and all the, uh, not the NA, the EU servers. I am on NA East, so this is NA East pricing, and this is directed at NA East players. Let me guys know down below in the comments uh, what, what the gold cost of these are on your guys' servers. But just the best way to think about it is a one gold investment. You can never go wrong with a one gold investment. It's literally, you can't buy it any cheaper, so you buy that out. It can't go any less than one gold. So if this, even if this only goes up to four gold and you're actually just porting this out to make some money and sell it back later when it goes up a little bit, then you're making four times the profit. So if you buy a hundred of these at one gold and they go up next week to four gold, you sell that hundred that you that hundred gold that you made, you turn now into 400 gold. So that depends really. So if you put 10 K gold into this and it goes up to five the next week, that's 50 K gold. You get increase. You know what I mean? It's completely up like that. And the only reason I'm saying this is because next week is when most people can get their weapons. All the belugas and the orcas and all the whales next week, they will be upgrading their Brelshaza weapon. All the whales will be migrating. All the belugas, they'll be migrating over to their Brelshaza weapon next week. Because you need two weeks of all the gates and to buy the auction boxes. So I don't know if you need all the auction boxes, but next week is the soonest that you can buy your brow shards a weapon so you know what that means they're going to convert the weapon and they're going to be honing the brow shards a weapon so these my prediction is next week they're going to go up a lot in price and when those go up in price people are going to start to think well why don't i just start buying these and then convert them at a five to one ratio because even if you do it now it's still cheaper because if you buy five of these right it's gonna cost you five gold well Five, it's one gold it's four you get 10 units each time so it doesn't matter because the units are the same so you buy 50 of those for five gold and then you convert them over to this it's still cheap it's like almost double because obviously for that to be the same it would have to be at uh, 10 and next week like i say when the belugas start migrating and they get them brow shards of weapons then they could potentially push the price of these up. Well, this is definitely going to go. I think this will go up next week, definitely. And if people actually start seeing this video and realizing that it's cheaper to just buy these and convert them into these, these might go up in price as well next week, just so that everyone can buy their weapon. And even if it doesn't go up in price, you're just investing it now for your account. So you can, this is always going to help you. Like I say, it gets you to 1490, gets you past 1490. You're never losing out with the one gold investment. So go out there, buy up as many as you can or as many as you want to invest into. I'm going to buy a lot because I still have a many alts that I'm trying to push. I still have this one still needs them. This one needs them. This one needs them. This one needs them. And then all of these need them as well eventually. Because I can just convert them at a 5 to 1 ratio and still be cheaper. I think even the blue ones are still cheaper. Let's have a look at the blue ones real quick. Blue ones are 6 gold and you need 5 of these. So it's, it's very, it's not as big of a difference as the destructions, but it's still cheaper to convert these as well. Because look, you buy five units of those, it's still five gold. And what is the, the protections are it's six gold. So you're saving one gold and they usually go for around seven gold. So you're actually saving two gold. So yeah, you can't lose guys. Yeah, there's no call play involved. Actually, you can't lose at all. Invest into Guardian Destruction Stones, get them up there. Be on the lookout for a video I have coming up soon on how to make a lot of gold with all the new materials. You can see their little sneak peek at the interest list over there, all the stuff that I am tracking. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make a little bit of gold. And this is just to help you boost your roster without losing any gold and potentially make some gold. But yeah, that other video will be about purely making gold. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please drop a like and a sub. It helps me out so much. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Oggy saying out. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying